Hey GED students, I had a student who was working on the Multiplying Algebraic Expressions Challenge worksheet and said, oh my goodness, I got stumped on number six. Uh, and so the issue here is how do I raise an exponential expression to a power? So let's just uh, make sure that I'm speaking English. So this is an exponential expression. It's, a, it's an expression. Uh, that has an exponent in it, you know. It's a mathematical statement or a mathematical phrase, I should say, that has an exponent in it. So it's an exponential expression, and I want to take that whole thing, see how we have the parentheses, that whole thing, and raise it to a power. And so that really stumped my students. So I just want you to remember that, yes, Ideally, you have your exponent rules memorized. You know, you know the product, the quotient, and the power rule so that you just do these things automatically. But remember that even if you forget them, you can always use the expanded form. Uh, you can convert into expanded form, and then it won't be a uh, power or an exponent problem anymore, then it'll be a multiplication problem. Let me show you what I mean. Expanded form means rewriting an exponential expression as a multiplication problem. So what does this sucker say? It says, take this whole thing to the fourth power. That's the same as saying, take this whole thing and multiply it by itself four times. So let's do that. Let's take 3r squared and multiply by 3r squared and multiply by 3r squared, and that's 1, 2, 3, we need one more. There we go. The entire quantity of 3r squared raised to the fourth power means I have the entire expression 3r squared multiplying by itself four times. And this is what we call expanded form. And that is going to make things easier to see because as a general rule, we find multiplying easier than we do exponents. And we know we're allowed to multiply in any order we want. And so we can really use that to our advantage here. We can gather up the plain old regular numbers that we know how to multiply with. Let's see. 3 times 3 is 9. Another 3 times 3 is 9. And of course, 9 times 9 is 81. And if you had this on the GED, you would have a calculator. So if you found that math, math I just did challenging, you could have done that in your calculator. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 81. Okay, now let's think about all your r squareds. Now, obviously, there's a lot of repeated multiplication going on because I have r squared and r squared and r squared. There's all these r's multiplying. But think about what r squared means. It means that you have r times r. So I have an r times r there, and an r times there, r times r there, and an r times r there, and an r times r there. So I have two, four, six, eight r's multiplying. So I have r to the eighth power. Wonderful. So even if you forget your, what they call product rules, which is the rules of how we do this shortcut, like go straight from here to here, you can still find the answer by using the expanded form. So never, I think the thing I want you guys to walk away with is never give up on simplifying exponents without trying to write it out in the expanded form. All right, uh, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.